everybody, this is Mandy from Chapel Forge. So if you've ever gone to the grocery store and bought strawberries and the inside looks like this, disappointment. You know it's not gonna have that much flavor. It's not gonna be anything like a local strawberry. But when it's, you know, mid-October, um, you don't have a whole lot of other choices. Yes, of course, we put strawberries up in other ways. We've freeze dried them, we've made strawberry sauce, we've made jam, we've frozen them and whatever. But sometimes you just want like a fresh strawberry and so you take a chance at the grocery store. So if you've seen any of my videos on flash food, I got a flash food haul yesterday. Sometimes you get lucky and you get some really sweet strawberries, but most of the time I feel like you don't. But I got this flash food haul. I think I got 19 quarts. Um, they were like 250 a quart and I figured, okay, well, we'll try them. And if we don't like them fresh because they don't have that much flavor, there's other ways that I can sweeten these strawberries and make them really, really yummy. So. Two of my favorite ways to sweeten strawberries that I bought at the store that are subpar is to make strawberry sauce and to freeze dry them. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that in this video. So hopefully if you get some strawberries that are just mediocre, you can salvage them. Prepare strawberries for strawberry sauce. If you look in the ball canning book, they simply just say strawberries, water, and sugar. The sugar is optional as always. Um, so strawberry sauce is super simple. You can make it as sweet or unsweet as you want. When I get strawberries like this, that are just kind of this white, not that exciting, you know, kind of strawberry, I typically will add some cane sugar to it just to up the sweetness. Typically when you cook them down, I feel like they do get a little bit sweeter anyway, but adding some cane sugar can help. Um, or whatever kind of sweetener that it is that you like. Um, so we're just basically gonna cut the tops off of these and I'm gonna add these to freeze dry trays. If you follow me on Instagram or anything, you know that strawberry tops do not go to waste here. Um, in past years, before I had a freeze dryer, they went to the chickens. Um, before that, they went to the compost. Um, now they get freeze dried and I put them in the Vitamix and they get turned into powder. So, and then we add that powder to yogurt or oatmeal or things like that. So it's literally not going to waste at all. We're not eating it as eggs. We're not using it in the garden as dirt. We're actually just eating the strawberry tops and the greens have great benefits. So that's why I love putting the strawberry tops in the freeze dryer. If you don't have a freeze dryer, you could also did it, do it in a dehydrator. Um, you'll get a little bit more of a flake than a powder, but it would still work. Um, so I'm just gonna cut these strawberries up, fill this pot with the strawberries, and then we'll talk about how to make the strawberries. So I have all of my strawberries cut. So I have, this is a 19 quart stock pot. So I'm assuming I got like 15 quarts or so of cut. Um, over here, I have a bowl of strawberry tops and then I have some that fit on freeze dry trays. My next set of freeze dry trays are coming out, so they'll go into that so soon. The book, so if you can, you know that sugar and salt do not affect the preservation. It's literally just for um, flavor. So don't get hung up on how much sugar or whatever in this. I literally am gonna go Mommy? like this. Mommy? and just cover it with, I'm gonna say a cup to these 15 quarts, which is probably going to be plenty. So I have a propane stove, it gets super hot. I almost never put fruit higher than medium. So I have this on low medium right now. I'm just gonna get this stirred around and add a little water. So I added like five-ish cups of water. So I'm just gonna get, you know, one of my wooden spoons here and just kind of get this mixed up. We're just gonna, it's, it's really not this exact science, for strawberry sauce. I mean, you're just gonna do a little sugar, a little water, and then when everything is like really, I don't even wanna say cooked down, because cooked down, I almost feel like you're heading towards a jam. You really just want like some good chunks. So what we eat this on is pancakes, waffles. We even put it over like our homemade yogurt. You could add it to oatmeal. Um, in my opinion, it's kind of the halfway point between eating a fresh strawberry and having jam. And so if you have had homemade strawberry jam, you know how delicious that is. And this is perfect. It is a great way to get those store-bought, white centered, not that much flavored strawberries to be really, really delicious. So I usually put the lid on it. Like I said, don't make it super hot because strawberries will burn really, really fast, just as with any other fruit. Um, or tomatoes or whatever. So um, I'm just gonna go in and keep stirring it around, get them kind of lightly coated in that sugar and that sugar water that's gonna you know, be made at the bottom. 
um, and then I'll show you what consistency I let it get to before we can it. Um, like I said, the strawberry tops are going to go in the freeze dryer. So that's another great way. I mean, the strawberry powder is sweet. You're not going to taste any kind of uh, bitter kind of store-bought strawberry when you make the strawberry powder. Um, and then to freeze dry them, if you were going to freeze dry these, you just slice them. So you just slice them, put them on your freeze dry trays, and then you can just put them in bags. And I'll show you what that right, looks so like. So these are the freeze dried strawberries. So obviously they still have that white, Zuzu just knocked the bag on the floor. They still have that white looking center, but they are super sweet. They're really good. The kids love them. We almost always have a bag or two in the truck with us when we're traveling because even if we're just like going to grandma's because they are the perfect snack like they don't make a ton of mess if they get any crumbles they're easy to vacuum so freeze-dried strawberries in their mylar bag here i mean they are just the best and super sweet so that's the other way that you can take your store-bought strawberries and make them really really good um one other thing a bonus tip um you could make fruit leather with them so if you have a dehydrator and you have the fruit leather trays um you can just puree up your strawberries and then just pour them onto the trays you don't have to add any sugar um you could add honey or maple syrup or something like that if you wanted to to make like some honey strawberry fruit leather or something um you could mix it up with bananas or you could mix in some oranges or something um but that's another great way to salvage those store-bought strawberries that are just really not that fantastic so we're gonna let this cook down and then i'll show you what so, as you can see while i was outside playing bubbles with the kids it boiled over it's fine I just had the stove clean, of course, though, and now it's a huge mess. Okay, so this is basically what you're going to get. I'm just going to come in here with the potato masher, kind of break this up a little bit. Um, you can taste it at this point if you want to, decide if you need to add any more sugar. Um, but this is basically what you're going for. It is super delicious. The house smells amazing. So we are just going to get this canned up and then we'll have great strawberry sauce. So on I it. normally can this in pints because this isn't something that you like have an entire meal of, you know. Um, so the book says that you should process pints for 10 minutes. So this is obviously just a water bath canning um, process. You don't have to pressure can it or anything. So I'm going to get those into pints. Um, it will make a delicious sauce that looks like this. I just made some last week, so I brought one up to show you. Um, like with most things like this, you'll get a little bit of juice at the bottom. It's no big deal, but it is so good. Um, the headspace on this is supposed to be half an inch. This will happen, like, you know, if you've ever canned tomatoes, sometimes it kind of sucks to the top. Not a big deal. It's going to be fine as long as you have, you know, your good seal. When you take your ring off, you know, pick it up if you want to test it. Pick it up by the lid, you know, all those kinds of things to make sure that you have a good seal. So I'm going to get those into jars, get those canned. Um, my tops will go in the freeze dryer. Like I said, you could do the dehydrator, um, make some fruit leather. These are all great ways to take your store-bought strawberries that don't taste that great and make them really delicious. So if you have any questions about this, let me know and we'll see you next video.